Hello internet and welcome to the VR devlog number 2 Doom animation show. I know that this log kind of sucks because from a dev state of mind animations are a lot of work for each model and everything you have to do. They um, take a lot and making state machines is a lot of work. Most enemies in video games have a few different um, animations and traditionally in 2D gaming there's been like uh, a certain number of animations for every enemy that's kind of limited like they'll usually have one idle animation one walk animation one run animation one jump animation and then maybe three or four attack animations and some uh, damage like when they get shot animations this works fine in 2d but doesn't really work very well in VR it comes off as kind of canned, actually, um, and nothing just short like the Brookhaven experience, which is great, but I think it could just be a little bit better if it took a couple lessons from Doom. Doom has several different animations for each state, while running idle, uh, tons of attack animations, and then the, it even has glory kill animations, which I think in its precise form won't work in VR because it's too rigid, it's almost like a mini cutscene, but you could use special animations for different like attacks and stuff like that and have special animations that are triggered with different things uh, I think the more variety of animation that you have the more immersive it's gonna be because real life is very different animated and it doesn't have any loops which it seems like your, your brain picks up a lot faster one aspect of animation that I've seen that uh, VR devs and VR games have picked up though is uh, environment animations and object animations. Raw Data in particular does an extremely good job of animating the environment which really definitely helps the immersion and um, Raw Data needs to be confirmed. Now of course I still think that the uh, objects and the enemies in Raw Data are somewhat canned but the environment is great. And I don't want to BS ourselves. I know that with the current state of technology and, and PC hardware the, you're not going to get Doom level graphics and quality uh, in VR right now, especially UE4 games for whatever reason are extremely CPU and GPU intensive and the more animations and stuff you put into them the harder it's going to run in VR but this is what we should be striving for and I think a couple other tricks that Doom has that we could use in VR is to make sure that everything is animated at, at 60 frames a second instead of being animated at 30 frames a second uh, and just set up a couple of extra states for every monster you know especially attacks uh, damage the more damage animations and idols if you're gonna have a lot of idling monsters if a monster doesn't stay idle for very long then you could probably skip it and work more on multiple run animations but that's about it let me know what you think in the comments and thanks for watching uh, keep on Devin I think I may actually experiment with trying to animate things with a 90 frames per second um, time frame although unfortunately I'm not skilled enough of a dev to be able to do that I think with Unity um, you can only do choose 30 or 60 frames a second for animation but uh, I'll keep on googling and see or if anybody knows if it's possible to record your animations in Unity or UE4 at 90 frames a second then you can do it anyway bye bye for now Oh, God. Oh, well. Uh, you want to give it a shot?